Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got this mouse here for you guys today. And I've actually got all the usual things I'm looking for for you guys. So, let me, let me put a different mouse pad on so I don't scratch this up. Yeah, this is a wonderful gift that I got from a great friend of mine, Dirt Box, from Cook These Sports. <clears throat> so I want to show you guys. So, got cab, right? Okay. I want to show you guys how small this mouse is first. This is my KPU. And this is this. This is smaller than a KPU. Its weight, on the other hand, looks about 93, 94 grams. Let me go grab the box for you real quick. Okay, so the sensor in this is a 3335. So it is a pretty good sensor. It goes from 100 to 1600 in terms of settings. <clears throat> yes, this mouse does have side buttons, and yes, they are very, very funky. So I'm going to put this up here so you can get a better look. So it's got two side buttons right here, and then another side button here. Like the classic style um, sniper button. Also has some interesting RGB. And then it has the steps for DPI on the top. Um, the clicks feel all right. We're going to do a quick sound test. Let me see if I can. Side buttons. They sound good. Um, and then when we're going to actually measure the length of this, this mouse. So, I don't know if you can see that, but it is 105. Can you see that clearly or should I zoom in a little? It is 105 millimeters, which if we were to compare that to my typical main, the KPU, which is 115 centimeters. Uh, focus. Let me see how much I can. Okay. That isn't really enough focus. There we go. So, <clears throat> just to recap. You see that? And four. Then if you look at the weight, we're looking at about 92, 93. <clears throat> looking at the width, oh, over here, about 66 millimeters at max width, and at its thinnest width is at the tip, and over there, it's about 58. And then here's the most interesting thing about this mouse. So we can get, it's very short, it's very wide, and then it's 44 millimeters, which puts it up there with the depth adder in times of height. <clears throat> mm. 
Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Rad and Hailstorm. I definitely need to play with this a little bit more to get its focus a little better. But so what we have here is a very short ergo mouse. In fact, its design really reminds me of two mice. Um, it really ironically reminds me of the Iron Claw. So the reason why it reminds me of the Iron Claw so much is how the grooves come out. I wouldn't say it's the best analogy, but that's kind of the best one I can come up with. Um, and then the side, if you look at the, it has a rest for if you were in one, two, two, it has a nice little rest here for your ring finger. And one, three, one, you actually can't use that rest when holding it. So what you have to do, so what you have to do is grab it on here, if you see. That's how you have to grab it in one, three, one. Whereas one, two, two palm, which is probably the best thing for this mouse. You're looking at something like that. Uh. <clears throat> now, I wanted to show you guys the software. Because I know a lot of you guys had questions about what the software was like. So, this is actually the software here. <clears throat> And it actually uses like the window settings here, the enhanced pointer precision, which uh, I'd recommend turning off. Um, it has um, four DPI steps. So you can kind of step through those. Yeah. Um, up to 1000 polling rate. Has various click functions. Um. <clears throat> And it's got various lighting. Okay, so I have to cool a little breathe. But yeah, it's very basic software. Um, it is nice that it's in English and it's not very hard to find. So if you want an idea of where to find it, you would go to the Elecom website. Um, right here. So through the mouse button, you'll go to their gaming section. And you'll go from there to the Arma 50BK. This is the beautiful box that comes in. Um, and then you download the software from here. So it's actually a really straightforward process. Um, yeah, it does feel a lot larger. For someone like me with large hands, I actually think this mouse is pretty usable. Um, I'd say the hardest thing for me is since it's one three one, you can't. You have to put your finger right here, like I was saying before. You have to put your finger right there, because if you put it up here, not the hold because you can't grip it. If you put it here, you can't. You'll lose it, and it just like see it. It falls. You have to hold it a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, it fills the hand actually really nice. Um. Yeah. What what size hands do you have, Red? I'd say at the um Yeah, I mean I think this could be a, if you like a ergo mouse, this would it would feel really large. Yeah. I think if you like the KPU, I think you definitely find some good use out of this mouse. Now of course there's a like a twenty five gram difference between this and the KPU. So, that'd be the one thing I'd be concerned about, would be the weight. Um, of course, it's a braided cable. Um, it's not very good. It's not the worst, but, I mean, look, look at the kinks it has coming in with it. And it just kind of holds them. 
So definitely not an ideal cable. I'll show you what it looks like if I have to put it in the bungee. Um, I use a uh, Zowie Camid. I can even feel the kinks as I'm... So, I mean, you can even see the kinks staying with it while it's in the bungee. But it doesn't feel terrible with the bungee. Um, and then just so you can get a better view of the software. So here's what the software looks like in full screen. And then if we're going through again, you go to the Elecom website. You go to peripherals and mount mice. You can go to their gaming mice over here to kind of see their offerings. You go to the Arma 50BK, and then you go to their software. It's a really quick install. Yeah, um, did you get it from Amazon Japan? I got mine from Amazon Japan, yeah. Um, I really like that it came in white. I still don't know how I feel about the coat. Um, I'd say it's, it's glossy. I'd definitely call this glossy. Um... But the sides are matte. Well, over here is matte on the right. But a glossy top. So, I'm personally not a big fan of glossy. Um, I've kind of went away from... I would honestly say there's some mice. Now, I especially say this style shape, where it has those ridges, is the definition of what lizard skins are for. I think lizard skins and a uh, bare braid wire would make this mouse dramatically better. Um, then just to uh, see some aiming with it, we have Kovacs 2.0. Going to do a quick drill. Three, two, one. complete okay and then let me get a different show I wanted to show you guys this thing actually ever works um okay, so where are we I'm just doing it with this. Is. This is Apex Aim Trainer. Probably. You know what I see that I'm doing with this much? I'll explain it in a second. But I can definitely see how <laughs> that's really interesting that I can do that with the mouse so small. So you remember how you were saying that is it can you tell how small it is because of the height? I'm actually resting my hand on the palm of the mouse, even though I'm clawing with my fingers. The back side of my hand is actually resting there. So yeah, you definitely I'm holding this like I would hold a big mouse. Honestly, holding this probably a little bit like it was bigger than the KPU, even though it's definitely smaller than the KPU. Wait, my hand on. Yeah. Um. So I can definitely say yeah, just from the actual like use case test. Um. Yeah, it definitely feels like. Yeah. Okay, and then... Yeah. 
Yeah. I can't duel you right now. I'm talking about my ass. <laughs> but yeah, so. Um, what my strad are you planning on getting at that $70 uh, with them $70 in some case? Hmm. Well, I think this is definitely a unique mouse to add to the collection just because it has such a unique shape. Um, I'm on, a oh, my mouse count? Uh, I don't know. I'm planning on after I review this, and then review this, and then review a few others. I'm planning on um, actually going through and ranking them all. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, so, you know, this mouse, um, I know there's a little bit of intrigue into this mouse as well, so, obviously it's supposed to have the optical clicks, and then look at the buttons on this, I'm gonna switch back to mouse view, and plug this in real quick. 